For this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how easy it is to insert 3D content into the new version of Smart Notebook 10.8. I'm going to start by going over to the Gallery tab on the side of Smart Notebook, and you'll see there's a new integrated link to the, new, to the Google 3D Warehouse, which I'm now going to click on, and you'll see a preview below of the Google 3D Warehouse, where you can choose which content you may want to download for your lesson. There's also a search bar for you to search for specific content. So if I was to type, for instance, Romans into this area, it will load up all 3D content related to that theme. I'm going to choose to do uh, download this new Roman farmhouse. Click on that link. And you'll see a small preview of what that 3D image will look like. And just below that image, you'll find a tab for you to download that image, which I'm now going to click on. You'll see various file types. Make sure that you click on the Collada type and click on download. Choose where you want to download that file to. So for convenience, I'm going to just choose my desktop just there and press save. And we can close down once the download has completed. I'm going to minimize Smart Notebook and you'll see the zip folder that you've just downloaded from the 3D Google Warehouse, which I'm now going to right click on and click on Extract. It will then extract from that zip folder. Choose where you want to extract those files to. Again, I'm just going to choose my desktop. Click on Next. Once it's extracted those files, we can click Finish. I'm going to return to Smart Notebook, where I now want to insert that 3D content that I've downloaded click on insert, click on 3D file, go to desktop where I've downloaded that file, click on the folder you've downloaded, click on the model folder within that area, and you'll find your model there with a .dae extension, which is what we need. Click on open, and you can see that it's now moved that 3D content into Smart Notebook, which you can now manipulate using the new Smart Notebook Mixed Reality and 3D tools. We click on the drop down menu on that object. We can also enter the 3D scene which gives you another way of exploring your 3D content. If you want to keep that 3D content, click back on your gallery tab and you can drag your object, your 3D object, into the My Content area and you'll notice there's a new 3D object drop down option. If we look within that area, you can see the farmyard building that I've downloaded, which will be kept now in the My Content area within Smart Notebook.